In this video, I'm going to explain how to sip a parameter and how to simulate a unit cell of a reflect array antenna. For this purpose, I have chosen this paper and I want to regenerate 67 in which the phase of F11 is plotted versus the length of L at the frequency of 5.8 GHz. The unicell of this reflect array is shown in this figure. This unicell is consisting of three dipoles printed on a substrate and the substrate is placed with the distance of R on the top of the ground plane. So, I have drawn this unicell here to define the variables from HFSS menu, I have used design properties menu. Here you can see the variables which I have defined. As I have explained in my previous videos, to simulate a periodic structure, we should use master slave boundary condition. So, using F key, I select one of the side walls. Then, by right click, I assign master boundary condition using assign boundary option. Here, I should define a vector, as shown in the video. Then, I should assign a slave boundary condition for its front wall. Again, by F key and then doing right click, I can access a slave boundary condition. In this page, we should put master boundary on master 1. And again, we should define vector u as you can see here. The same procedure should be done for two remind side walls. For the front wall, we should put a fellow cat pole excitation. So again, by right click and using assign excitation, we can access to fellow cat port. Then we should define these vectors as shown here. Press next. For this structure, two modes are enough. In the next page, using the embed option, put the face reference on the unit cell surface. Then press next. In this page, we should specify which modes we want to do simulation process for. Finally, for the backward wall, we define perfect electric conductor boundary condition. Actually, the distance of the back wall from the unit cell is equal to the air layer in the fixed six of the paper. So, Press F key and select Assign Boundary and then Perfect E Boundary. In the next step, do right click on Analyze and add an Analysis Setup. Set Solution Frequency 
equal to 5.8 gigahertz you can increase the maximum number of uh, passes and also minimum number of passes and coverage passes to increase the accuracy in the next step do right click on the optometric then select add and after that select parametric in this page click on add then you can select any variable you have defined previously and i can specify its a start value a stop value and a step sizes uh, i do similar way for gamma parameter Using this tick sign, I have checked the simulation setup to be defined truly. Then I start the simulation. To see the results, do right click on results, then select create model solution data report and then rectangular plot. Select S parameter ANG underline deck and at the top of the page set primary sweep on L parameter. Other parameters can be selected at the second header. Then press new report key. Then you can see the results of our simulation for phase of S11 and it is unwrapped curve. Actually, HFS simulator plus the phases with only between minus 180 and uh, plus 180. You can export these results and using a simple MATLAB code see the ramped F11 phase. Obviously, the achieved results are similar to those of the paper reported. I hope you to enjoy this video Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for more videos.